going to discuss about the new concept and it is very very important concept okay that is subtraction of two digit numbers with borrowing subtraction of two digit numbers with borrowing okay before going to our today's class let us recall about our previous class do you know children what we have discussed in our previous class yes very good we have discussed about the subtraction of two digit numbers without borrowing okay now let us recall see here the number 47 and 21 both are arranged under the ones column and tens column now let us start solving the problem okay first we shall subtract the ones place numbers okay 7 minus 1 7 minus 1 okay Yes, draw the 7 lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In these 7 lines, you have to strike out one line. How many lines? Only a single line. See, I have strike out one line and now you check how many lines are remaining or how many lines are left. Okay, see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Left with the 6 lines. Write down this 6 under the 1's column. Okay. Now we have completed the 1's portion. Next, our step is to calculate the 10's place numbers. See in the 10's place, 4 minus 2 is there. See in the 10's place, 4 minus 2 is there. See, you have to draw the four lines first. One, two, three, four. Okay. In this four lines, you have to strike out how many lines? You check here. Here is the number two. You have to strike out two lines. Okay. See here. One and two. Now you see how many lines are remaining? One and two. They are left with the Two lines. Write down two here. Yes dear children. Look at here. The difference is 47 minus 21 is 26. The difference of 47 minus 21 is 26. Yes dear children. Until now we have recalled about our previous class. In the today's class we are going to discuss about the Subtraction of two digit numbers with the borrowing. This is very very important topic. Listen to the class very carefully. Okay. Yes dear children. How to solve the problems of with borrowing. Okay. Let us see now. First question is like this. 42 minus 19. 42 minus 19. See how you have to consider this problem comes under the with borrowing means first you have to check the ones place digit numbers. Okay. See 2 is the smaller number and 9 is the bigger number. See if on the top if it is a smaller number and below that if there is a greater number then you have to consider these kind of problems will come under the with the borrowing. Okay. Top there should be a smaller number and at the below there should be a big number. Then you have to consider this problem will come under the with the borrowing. Okay. Now let us solve or now let us start solving the problem. Okay. See first we already know that we have to calculate the ones place numbers. Right. Yes. See in the ones place number there are 2 minus 9. 2 minus 9. Okay. Yes. Draw 2 lines. And in this you have to cancel 9 lines. Is it possible to cancel the 9 lines in the 2 lines? No. It is not possible to cancel the 9 lines here. So, this kind of problems will come under the with the borrowing. Okay. Now, if it is not possible, then what should we do? Then, what should we do? Do you know children? Yes. Then, in our today's class, 
let us see how to take a borrow okay how to take a borrow that we are going to learn now okay yes here now let us take a borrow now let us take a borrow that is 10 now let us take the borrow 10 because this is 10th place digit no so we have to take a borrow 10 here see if you don't have means you will ask from your neighbors right if you don't have you will ask from your friends right in the same way if it is not possible to subtract 2 minus 9 then you have to take a 10 borrow from the 4 you have to take a borrow from the tens place okay yes now we are going to take a borrow 110 from the tens place okay now after taking a borrow you have to add these two numbers see 10 plus 2 is equals to 12 okay 10 plus 2 sorry 10 plus 2 is equals to 12. Now the number here becomes is 12. Okay. See we have taken 10. Sorry we have taken 110 borrow from the tens place. And we have added 2 plus 10 is equals to 12. Then now we have to subtract this 12 minus 9. 12 minus 9. Okay. See here. See. Now you have to subtract this 12 minus 9. Is it possible now to subtract 12 minus 9? Yes, because 12 is the bigger number, it is at the top. And 9 is the smaller number, it is at the bottom. Now you have to subtract 12 minus 9. Okay, see, there is one more easy method to subtract 12 minus 9. Okay, from 9 you have to count 12. From 9, you have to count the 12 and fold the fingers. How many fingers will be folded? That is the difference. See how it is. 9 is the right. 9, 10, 11, 12. How many fingers are folded here? 3 fingers. Then the difference is 3. 12 minus 9 is 3. How to subtract in an easy way? Once again I will tell you. Listen to me carefully. 9. Okay. See. from Start from counting the 9. And reach the number 12. How many fingers will be folded? Those number of fingers is the difference. Okay. See. 9 after is 10. 10 after 11. 11 after 12. How many fingers are folded here? 1. 2, 3. Then 3 is the sum. This is the very easy method of subtraction. Get follow this method. Okay. Yes. Now we have completed the 1's place. Now let us move on to the 10's place digit. See, see here you have given borrow to the 1's place now. Right. For example, see here I have 4 pieces of chalks. Okay. If I give in this 4 pieces of chalk, one to my friend. How many pieces of chalks are left with me? One, two and three. There are left with the three pieces of chalks. In the same way, in this four tens, if we give one ten as borrow, then we have to consider or cancel this four and write down three. Or you have to write backward number of this number. The backward number of 4 is 3. Okay. Yes. 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1. 3. In this 3 you have to cancel 1. Okay. How many lines are left? 2 lines are left. Write down these 2 as a difference. See. Now the difference is 23. 42 minus 19 is 23. One more problem let us solve now. Then we will be clear by this topic. Okay. Yes. Second question. 62 minus 47. 62 minus 
47. See, here first we have to calculate the ones place, right? Yes. In the ones place, here is the smaller number and below that there is a bigger number. Then we cannot subtract 2 minus 7. Then what shall we do now? Yes, very good. We have to take a borrow. We have to take a borrow 1 ten from the 6 ten. Here is the 6 tens, right? From the 6 tens, you have to take a borrow 1 ten. How much tens we have to take a borrow? 1 tens. 1 tens is equal to 1 ones, okay? Yes, after taking a borrow, you have to add these two numbers, right? 10 plus 2 is equal to how much? 10 in your mind and 2 on your fingers. 10 after 11, 12. 12 is the sum now. 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. Now, you have to subtract 12 minus 7. You have to subtract 12 minus 7. 12 minus 7. See, start counting from here. 7 and reach the number 12. How many fingers are folded? That is the difference. Okay. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. We have started counting from the number 7. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many fingers are folded here? 5 fingers. Then our difference is 5. Write down 5 under the 1's place. Okay, this is the easy way of subtracting the bigger numbers. And next, after completing the 1's place, let us move on to the 10's place. See here, you have to cancel this 6 and write down the backward number of 6, that is 5. What is the backward number of 6? It is 5. Write down 5. Now you subtract 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4. 5. In this you have to subtract how many numbers? 4 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. Only the one, la, num, one finger is left. Therefore the sum is 1. Sorry, therefore the difference is 1. 62 minus 47 is 15. 62 minus 47 is 15. Now the difference of our second example is 15. This second problem, the same problem is given in your textbook on your page number 136 in the B main. Okay. Here the rest of the three problems. See second problem, third problem and fourth problem. You have to solve it and send me a photocopy. You have to solve it in your textbook. After solving, you have to send me a photocopy. Okay. Yes, dear children, rest of the three problems in your page number 136, B main or your homework, you have to solve it yourself in the textbook and send me a photocopy. Okay, yes, dear children, I hope you all understood the today's class. Let us meet in the next class with a new concept and very interesting concept. Thank you.